Okay, so just a quick tip for uh, anybody uh, wiring up uh, tail lights to their uh, trailer. This is the uh, your basic, most basic uh, trailer lights. You got um, driving mode, and then you got the uh, the brake that's on the other side. Anyways, this is the uh, LED kit that I got from eBay. Twenty four dollars. Actually, pretty cheap. But my trailer lights were the uh, non submersible ones, and just, no matter how much I try to seal them, they'd always. Uh, um, and they're getting rusty and they'd always fail on you. The bulbs never were designed to go into water. So there was always that problem. So I ended up going to these uh, waterproof LED ones, which I got off of eBay. Um, they are pretty cheap. They're about $25 uh, shipped. But when they come and you get them, they have a bunch of different wiring uh, colors. And as you can see, the uh, conventional trailer has these yellow and brown colors. And uh, this one came with a red, a gray and then and also a white and just from my just from a little bit of background I search on YouTube the white is always ground and the way I have it ground here is just I have it pinched in between the uh, the frame of the uh, trailer which is grounded at the front and also this little screw which just which just holds it in and uh, I couldn't figure out any uh, instructions I can find any instructions online so if it, you know just with a little bit of electronics background you kind of tell you that uh, there's basically two circuits that's going to be inside this uh, this setup. One is to have all these lights come on, which is fairly dim, and when you hit the brakes, only this one is going to come on, and it should be fairly bright. So there's only three wires, and one's already grounded, and there's only two that comes through on your harness. So you you got a 50-50 shot, and it's not like it's going to blow anything, so just go ahead and just wire it up. So what I did was... I just took the uh, the silver one and I actually took a nine volt battery. Took a nine volt battery just to be on the safe side. You know, there's a plus and there's a minus on it. So just take the, the minus and uh, put it on the white line, and then just take the silver and just touch it on the plus, and you should see how the lights light up. Now this is on just the regular driving mode. Uh, night driving mode so that the lights come on and you can see this light and this light comes on now if you were going to touch it to the red line only this one would come on so just for an example this is positive right now already this this should go to this the red line should go up here but as the as of right now I don't have my turn signals and I don't have my brakes on because my car is over there uh, I'm just going to demo it by touching it over here you can share the power it, it won't be any issue as you can see, it's a much brighter light as I touch it. And that's how you know that's your brake light and turn signal light. And I hope this helps somebody out because it took me a couple minutes to think about it and uh, figure this out. So um, a couple minutes for me might be an hour for somebody else. But color code doesn't always uh, follow through from manufacturer to manufacturer. And I'm pretty sure these lights came from China or something. So whatever codes we have here versus over there, it's not going to be the same. But you know, wire coloring is just coloring. Uh, electricity works the same way no matter where you are. So I'm gonna finish up doing this install, and basically I'm gonna use electric uh, electric tape, and I'm also gonna be using this other stuff called uh, uh, what's it called electric tape, just to. Uh, tape them up so you use liquid tape and put it over this connection and then you can tape it up with electrical tape your regular standard electrical tape and it prevents uh, rusting on the corro or corrosion of the wires so you have years of uh, years and years of uh, proper operation so just to give you guys a demo on that again all right here's uh, the result from working on the boat at uh, seven o'clock during the winter and it's about 38 degrees out but I live in the south so fish all year round, all year round, and uh, it's, it feels normal. You know, it looks good. All the trailer lights look really good. Uh, I do have to clean up some of the insulation on the wiring. Uh, like I said, I just have a, I just have the white line pinched here, but I need to get like a spade connector or something to tighten it down to terminate it. We need to run the two white lines together and run the actual line all the way back to the front. Some actual, some guys on the uh, internet on the uh, forums and things like that they actually recommend you to do that but it's working right now um, and uh, 
connection my lights in the front of the uh, car really good because I have LED tail lights and now I have LED tail lights on my uh, my boat. Looks good. That's how it looks like in the dark. So it looks really nice. It matches. It also matches the, the, the Tacoma as well because the Tacoma has LED tail lights. It looks good. It's it way better than before. And it's way bright. Very bright, and the cameras don't do any justice, but it's pretty bright.